So my last soft bell tutorial really helped my channel grow a lot. We gained about 200 subscribers because of that video and the video reached a thousand views in less than a week. So huge thank you for that. Um, today we're going to go in a little deeper on the soft pellets. If you haven't watched the first video about soft pellets, it's linked down below. It's very important that you watch that first because then you learn the basics about soft pellets. And today I'm going to explain how to do fade times with soft pellets and directions with soft pellets. So some very exciting stuff and I can't wait to teach you. If you're new, my name is Cedric, I'm a 16 year old show designer from Belgium and on this channel I do tutorials like this one, gig logs, some live streams and much more. Just what I like to do and hopefully what you like to see as well. And it's been a while since I uploaded, I'm sorry. Uh, as you might have noticed, we have rebranded to Our Dream Creative, so we're not called Celix anymore. And I did about the whole rebranding myself. So yeah, that's where my time went. But yeah, I'm back and I'm going to stop talking about myself and start teaching you some more exciting stuff about the soft pellets. So here we are in Chems' Magic U. Just like before, I have a capture demo file open. This time just with one fixture type, HRP pluses. I already created this Q stack with just a fan out, a tight zoom. So fade times and directions is a little bit different with soft palettes. It's not complicated at all, don't be scared, but it's different. So assuming that you already have created your soft palette, like we did in the previous tutorial, we're going to create a row with all of our palettes and the soft palette. So as you can see, I already made a 12 by 8 execute page. So just copy it over, copy your palettes, copy the soft palette, Set the region and set the soft palette to link. So what you would normally do is assign special, go to timing and here you have all your fade times and directions. Now this doesn't work with soft palettes, you need to do it a little bit different. Everything is queue based now, so you create a queue for every fade time and direction that you want. First we will do fade times. So it's very simple, just select your soft palette, go to your queue store, Record it to a place that makes sense for you. Uh, I will do Q101. Give it a name, for example, one second fade. Then go to in your queue store, go to view queue, view times, and here under the color tab, you can set delays. I'm not going to do that. Um, but yeah, we call it a one second fade. So I'm going to do a one second fade. And now, as you can see, if we turn the queue on, it will fade in one second. If we go to the execute window and we select another color, it will fade to the color in one second. So it's very simple and it makes sense, but it's just another way and it needs some getting used to. So as you can see, the fade time works. Now what I'm going to do is copy the queue, call it a three second fade this time. Go to the view queue, view timings and set it to three second fade time, of course. So now, if we turn off this queue and select a 3 second fade, it will fade in 3 seconds to the colors that we select. So that's it for fade times, very easy. So soft palette directions work with advanced palette timings. If you don't know what that is, I will link this page down below. And if you scroll down to the 10.11 using palettes with times, you will see this graph and this uh, explanation. We can use all of this to create different directions and timings for our soft palettes. So as you can see how this works, you set your time, for example, one, which will do one second and then asterisk or asterisk slash or whatever you want. I always do one second for my directions. Um, so yeah, we can start with doing that. Select your group, do your timing, one second, star, and then your soft palette. Go to your queue store, record it, clear and set it to forward. Then backwards is a asterisk and a slash. So we're going to do that. One second, asterisk, slash, select a soft bullet. Go to your crew store, record it. Backwards. Into center is, as you can see, asterisk plus, one asterisk plus, that's the center in, record it. Then a center out is timing star minus, select the palette, Q store, record it, set center out. And then last but not least, a random one, 
timing, star, point, select your palette, record it, and call it random. Now that we have these, we can copy them all over to our execute window. Then what we need to do is set a region and make sure the item type is set to solo button, so only one button can be activated at the same time. And as you can see, things are happening. So if we select the center out, it works. If we select the center in, it works. Now, as you can see, every time you select a different direction or fade time, it goes white and then applies that direction or time. Uh, now we don't want that. And also, as you can see, if you deactivate it, it just goes to white. So you have no option for just snapping. Now what I do is just record another queue with the soft palette just enabled, no other things. Record it to the queue store. Call it no effects. Turn it on in the queue store, no need to have it on your execute window. Now this will do two things. One, you will be able to just have the snapping if you don't have anything selected. And what it will also do if you select a new thing, it will get rid of the weird artifacts that we saw before. So now if you go to into center and select another direction, you can just do it and everything works as it should work. So as you can see, I can go to blue and forward, then I can select center in, go to amber, then I can go to random, go to green, and select a three second fade and go to magenta. So yeah, that's the process. You can do everything you want. You can edit center out for 10 seconds or what I would do, what I didn't do today is add a 10 second fade for slower songs. I don't find a need for to have multiple timings with the directions. I just always do one second and that's enough for me. You can do whatever you want. It's a, it's a very flexible solution. But yeah, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. If you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. It really helps us a lot and it's very nice to see your support on this. If you would like to learn more about Art Dream Creative or work with us, our website and our social media is down below in the description. So yeah, if you would like to contact us, just pick the platform that you like the most. Thanks for watching and then I hope to see you soon on this channel again. Bye!